we can minimize and we can do our lab if you see now we will have the blue screen and you will have at last okay if you see like this that means gns3 vm is connected to gns3 client we can minimize and you can give here the name like whatever name you want to give for the lab you can give here example here i will give like uh, lacp i can give lacp lab because we are doing the lacp after that whatever the switch you need click here you have this switch i can take drag and drop here i can take only two switch to do this lab so we can keep one here and we can keep one here and we can power on you can click this one so it will power on all the devices and you can see here you will have the green means this device is power on and you can take the console of this device and also you can do same thing to take the console of other device so now you have the console of both the device you can take the cable and connect from here e0 by 0 of switch 1 is connecting to e0 by 0 of switch 2 and e0 by 1 is connecting to e0 by 1 of the switch 2 so same sequence i am connecting because in the real scenario also we are going to connect the same port to the opposite one but depend if the port is not available or a port is already used somewhere you can connect anywhere it is not hard and fast rule that you should connect like this or you should connect like that but in the real scenario most of the time we will do that designing only like uh, whenever you are connecting if you are connecting e0 by 0 here you will connect the opposite sides also e0 by 0 so it is easy for troubleshooting and also easy for what we can say generating the cabling layout like uh, network design template we will prepare so with the help of that one the team can uh, run the cable and connect the devices okay so now we have if you want to take the ports here it will show you like this you can keep here just to have the idea whatever ports we use so we can use that in ether channel configuration so we can say we use e0 by 0 e0 by 1 e0 by 2 e0 by 3 same thing we use for the other switch also so now we can do the configuration configuration is simple what we will do we will take the notepad here let me take the notepad here i can write like uh, lacp lab okay you can give any name then here i will give this is a switch one configuration then enable config t host name sw1 this is basic and now i need to select the multiple interface so i will write interface range e0 by 0 we will use this one e0 by 0 dash how many interface we are using till 3 so we will write e0 by 0 dash 3 and then after that we will write switch port okay switch port uh, trunk because we are using this is a layer 3 switch switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q okay then we will write switch port mode trunk because i am making this port as a trunk if you remember in the real scenario whenever we are connecting the two switches we will make that uh, the link between the two switches always trunk so i make the trunk after that we are going to configure the lscp configuration that is ether channel configuration this is a basic till now whatever we done just we assign the name to the switch and then we selected the multiple interface this is our the multiple interface we selected and with these two command we make that interface that links as a trunk after that we need to do the configuration that configuration is simple we can say switch port switch port and not switch port we need to configure the ether channel so here we will write channel okay channel protocol lacp which protocol you want to run you can write that one now we are planning to use the lacp so i will write channel protocol lacp then channel and uh, which group you want to give so you can give anything i am using one channel group one and mode and if you remember for lacp we have the active and passive we told you can have active both the side or you can have active and passive but both should not be passive if you have the passive in the switch one and in the switch two also you have passive then it will not work so you need to remember that one so i use here active opposite side i can use the passive or opposite side also i can use active it will form the ether channel so this is the configuration for the switch one okay 
so i can copy this configuration from here to here and i will paste here and we are going to modify here if you see i will modify here i will write here switch to here also switch to and if you see this interface e0 by 0 0 by 1 0 by 2 0 by 3 here switch port mode trunk encapsulation switch port mode trunk so this one is used to make the trunk and this remains same this is a ether channel configuration here if you want to keep active you can keep active it will work or if you want to put passive also it will work your wish you can keep here here group you can give anything it is not necessary like here if you give the group one here so here should be group one you can give anything no issue but generally whenever we are doing in the company in the industry network if we are giving here group one we are giving the same group opposite side also so we will have the easy to understand and do the troubleshooting so we will use that one only same thing now this configuration is good we can copy and paste this one so i will copy this and i will log into the route switch one i will see here in the console of the switch one and i can paste here just right click and press enter so everything is good and if you see it created the port channel interface p of zero that is port channel one is ready here now what i can do i can copy this whole thing and i can paste this in the switch 2 so i will log into the switch 2 console and here i am going to paste that one if you see i paste it here also and we can wait for some time and we can check if you want to increase the font size there is one setting here we can go and we can increase the font setting also uh, and later we can see that is no issue but if you want there is some option here like you have here the font size increase we can increase the font size also and if you want to change the what we can say color also you can change the color here there is some option i did not remember but we have some option here with that one we can increase in case if you are if, uh, seeing the what we can say the font size is less we can increase also if you see here we are getting regular 10 so i can see select 14 and press ok and we need to i think okay let's see i will save this now i think it will not change we need to close and open so i can close and i can open let's see here how it, it look big or not i think little big compared to before anyhow after class i can set so now it is good we already configured that one so now let's go and check so what i will do if i want to check how i can check what are the step we will use so we will use this one let me show you here we will write here show first of all we need to check show spanning tree vlan one so if you see here for this vlan one what it is working if you see we have the port here p of zero so this is a port it is in the forwarding if you see here this one this is a ether channel port so whenever stp is working they will treat that multiple physical interface into one only and if you see you cannot see here e0 by 0 e0 by 1 e0 by 2 3 whatever we taken we make that port as a bundle and here stp cannot see stp can see this is like only one okay only one and cost if you see reduce because we bundle the four interface and also if you want to check you can write show ether channel summary with this one you will have the idea like if you see here first of all we use the group one here and this is a port channel p of zero one s is nothing but capital s you can see here where we are using capital s that is layer two we configure the ether channel layer two this is a layer two ether channel and u capital u what is the meaning of capital u in use so you need to remember it is in use and which protocol we use to configure that one we use the lacp and whatever the interface we mix and make one logical interface if you see this all four interface we mix and make one as a logical interface if you see here e0 by 0 e0 by 1 e0 by 2 e0 by 3 and you can see we have all are having the capital p what is the meaning of capital p you can see it is in bundling in the port channel means it is bundle it is okay if you have anything you will have d d means dawn but now it is configured perfectly everything is good here if you want to get more detail you have some more commands like show ether channel detail 
you will get some more detail also like here what is a group and uh, we are using l2 configuration which protocol we are using that all information you will get here and we have some more command like we can write show ether channel show ether channel and we can say port channel okay and press enter if you see with this one also we will get the detail so you have some more commands also but mostly we are using show ether channel summary so that will be easy to verify if we have any problem or any issue like show ether channel summary this command will show you that one so mostly we will take this command okay and now what we done we done the ether channel with this one we can say we done the ether channel lab by using the lacp so now we have one more thing we can say like we can configure the ether channel without without using the protocol also that option is also available so we can do that lab now if you see here first we will go to the theory i can switch off this router okay sorry switch when i click here all the switch will stop here i am saying this is stop and yes so all the device will stop here if you see now 